Hey there, welcome back. So uh, in this part of the video, we're going to make a, a function called interpret. Uh, interpret. Uh, so I, essentially, we want to open up a document, like a Word document, and we want to output those, uh, whatever is written in the Word, whatever is written in the text document that we're going to open. We want to output uh, everything, all the characters in there as, uh, as, key, as um, keystrokes uh, for, this, for the Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, so let's get into it. So let's uh, let's start uh, writing this code. So this is where we left off. We made uh, two functions. One function is called transcribe, and other one another function is called translate. And the last function we're gonna make. Well, you can you can do a couple more functions, but this is the last function uh, that I'm gonna get into. So I'm gonna call this function def interpret. And what we're going to interpret here is uh, a path. So we need a path to a Word document, uh, to not a Word document, to a, a text document. First of all, we're just going to pass here because we're just we're going to come back to it in a sec. But before we do anything, what we want to do is we want we need to import some stuff here. So we need, we want to import, and what we'll be importing is OS because we need to we need to find the directory of our text document, and we're going to be importing time. Because there might be some cases where you may want to use a special function that I call sleep, so it's basically a pause. So these two, we're going to import these two these two libraries here, and and um, what we're going to do right underneath here, we are going to set the directory directory to our um, to the file we want. So um, with our current directory, we're, we're going to call this variable current directory. And uh, you'll be seeing this a lot in, in other programs, or when you when you get more experience in Python, we're going to use uh, os dot uh, path dot uh, dr name. So we can do that. And inside here, we're going to do another os path os dot path dot real path. And inside here, we're going to do underscore underscore uh, file. And I think that's about it right here. Underscore underscore file. So what this does it gives you the the, um, the 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 path, the path to this specific document to this test py document. So it gives you the specific path, and this os path here. Uh, this keeps popping up. The, it gives you the directory, the directory of where this file is located. So the reason I did that is because I want uh, I want to find the location of this directory. So uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, okay. Let's make the function. Let's make the function, and then we'll worry about the, the rest later. So in here, the path we're gonna put in. The, um, we're gonna open the document. We're gonna basically put in the path to our, our our password file. So, but before that, we are going to let me just look here. Actually, no. What we can do that. Oh, we can do that earlier on. So let's say that um, the path. What's called path? Let's call it um, PTH. Or we can just call it path. Doesn't matter. We can call it path, and we're gonna equal. It's gonna be OS dot join, and then over here uh, we can use current directory. So that's the the current directory where this file is located. So it's the same. So in the same directory, we're gonna put a text file. Uh, we're gonna we can name it anything. Well, but in this case, I'm just gonna name it. Uh, I don't know. Let's call it um, password txt. All right. So we we can create a password text file in the same directory as this file, and we can put we can write anything on it, and it's gonna output it as keystrokes uh, to our uh, to our Raspberry Pi Zero to whatever it's plugged into. So. Uh, so this is just going to be any. This could be any document that you want. You, any, anything can be written on it. Um, so yeah. So that's what we're going to do there. And uh, we're going to test it. We're going to test it later by using interpret. And then we're going to put in um, that uh, that variable. This variable here, which we created up here, to our, our password uh, document. And uh, I'll make that in the, in the sec, but let's just write this. Let's finish this. Uh, let's finish this function right here. But you know what? Um, just to make our just to make our keyboard so versatile, uh, there's, there's a couple of other dictionaries that you may want to add. Uh, and I made this dictionary here of all these action keys and function keys, and, and just consolidating it as as merge keys, so you can actually 
uh, do that. So I'm just going to copy and paste this into here. I'm going to put this in the description of this video uh, so you can you guys can do the same. So like if you type in enter, then um, you know in, in in enter like if you type this this specifically down in the document, it's gonna input forty, which is just the enter key, and same thing same thing with all these. So here's the delete key, the tab key, all these keys right here. So I already made this for you guys. You just can copy and paste it, and if you need to use it, you can use it. If you don't need to use it, then that's fine too. And I just basically merged all these keys into one big dictionary. And the one big dictionary is called merged uh, merged key. Okay, so that is done. Uh, now for the um, now for the the real the, the code the code itself. Actually, you know what? Um, I think I believe I made yes over here. Okay, so we're gonna open the document. So it's with open with open path we made that variable earlier that path goes directly to our file um, the with the password text file and we're gonna open it in read mode is that right uh, read mode as and I like to use the um, I'm very specific I like to use uh, well I call it scripts but um, I guess we can call it scripts or script, we can call it script. We can call it anything, but we just call it script. Or, or it could be F out, like a file out. So, but in this case, we're just gonna call it script just to make our lives a little bit easier. Um, I should be better at the, at the wording part. <laughs> so I'm gonna call word, uh, I'm gonna call word list, and you're just gonna read it. So it's gonna be uh, script and dot read. So it's uh, basically reading the, reading the entire contents of uh, the, this path here, which you made up earlier here. This, uh, it's going to read the entire contents of this document, which is a password text file. That's what's, what's going on down over here. So it's going to read the entire contents. I could have used, used read lines, uh, read lines here, uh, lines. You can also use read lines here, but uh, I skipped that because I, it makes the, I think it makes the code a little bit easier. In terms of showing all the necessary steps, and if I thought if I put read lines there, then I'm sort of like skipping a step. Um, so we're gonna make a for loop for, and I'm gonna call it count one. And um, I'll show you why we're using uh, the count one there and line. So we're, we're gonna be reading each line of that document in enumerate, and then here inside enumerate. We're going to use word list dot split, and we are going to split it at every um, every enter, <laughs> every line. We're going to split it every line, and um, it's basically slash n, which is uh, which is which is the means every line. So basically, um, we're splitting. Uh, so this entire from this entire document that's written, we're going to split into a list of lines. Right, so we can have it here, and this count one is basically counting how many lines there are, uh, starting from zero, I believe. Yeah, starting from zero, and then so we're gonna make this for loop here, and underneath it, we're gonna make a second for loop for count, and I believe I'm gonna use count two and word. So we have all we have all these lines, and we want we want the words inside those lines. So in enumerate and I uh, believe line and we spling. So for every line, we're gonna split at, at the space dash space. We're gonna split. We're gonna make a so right here. We're making a list. A list called lines here of all the of all the lines in the, in the document. And over here, we're making another list words of uh, the list of every. Um, of all the words in this line here. So we're using two for loops. And again, slash n means uh, after every enter, and then this, this over here means after every space. So we're just making lists. We're making this list, and we're making a word list. So the whole point is to make this word list for every line. OK, so that part. Uh, and then underneath here, we're going to say if word in 
merged keys, merged key more specifically. So if the word that we that we we have, if it's inside merged key, like one, if it's one of these things, then we want to input uh, that in the right report. So uh, right report here, and uh, let me just copy what we had, what we did earlier, which was which over here. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna change this up a bit. We're gonna okay. We're gonna do that. Let's paste that there. There we go. No two characters. And what we want to change is merged keys. This is this is using that dictionary. Merged key and inside here, it's gonna be word. And I think that's everything there. That's, um, yep, that's Word inside there. And, yeah. So it's going to perform that action. If it's, if the word, that, if, if one of these words, sorry, if one of these words are, uh, if it's in the, if you see enter in the, in the word list, in the, in the script. If it's there, then it's going to do that action. Else, else if. And I, this this is gonna we're gonna actually handle the sleep. So if word, and I'm gonna use uh, you can use you can you can use there's a couple things you can do there, but I'm gonna use um this slicing. So if the word we see and if the first six characters, if the first six characters equals sleep, um slash sleep all in capitals, and the first six letters equals sleep. Uh, is there a bracket there? Oh no, I should end this bracket and put the bracket over here. So the first six characters equals this, then we are going to use the time sleep module. So it's going to use um, time.sleep. So it gives it a bit of a pause. And we use the int, well, int bracket, because we, we want an in integer word. And we're gonna get a slice of this word for the last, uh, the last six is the last six characters, or oh, six yeah the last six characters last six characters onwards. So, um, for example, in our in our in a password document, if we wrote down something like, if we wrote down like slash sleep ten, if we if we wrote that down, it's gonna look it's gonna look for, first gonna look for this keyword here. If it sees this keyword here, it's gonna basically run this line here and it's gonna use the the last um, the last right after after right after the word, it's gonna look for a number and it's gonna use that number for the time sleep. So in this case it's gonna sleep for 10 seconds. So uh, okay that so that part is complete because in, in some cases you may wanna you would have your you may want to have it sleep for whatever reason. Now for another elif, elif word not in, so if the word is not in merged keys, if word is not in merged keys and uh, in count to, count two is less than one, then we want to just translate the word. So basically, it's 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 less than one because um, because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting spaces. We're going to put the spaces back, and we're going to be putting the the returns back. Because we earlier on we stripped them off here. Now we want to put them back, so it it so it easy translates over as keystrokes. So in this case, if it's a uh, less than one. Then we are just gonna translate the word, translate the word, whatever the word is, and else in every other case we want to put the space back. So we're gonna translate. Because remember earlier on we we split it, we split the words up into from it, we turn into a list and we split it at the space. Now we want to put the spaces back. So we're going to translate and put the space back there. And then we're going to translate the word. But you don't want to enter you, you don't want to enter a space for the for the first word. And that's why we have that's what we have here. 
because this sort of represents the first word here. So, so to everything except for the first word, we're going to have a space in between. So this is going to be word there. And uh, yeah, so that's that's the end of that for loop. And for the next for loop, um, we're going to have, oh, we're going to end that loop here. Yeah, so we're going to have here, if count one, this is for the first for loop. Because remember, we had the len word list dot split and dash n and if this is less than one or sorry if this is just one less of it we want to put we want to trans uh, late there's a trans translate the um, the enter the enter the, the the enter key because earlier on we uh, we removed all the enter we we split them up into lines we made a list of lines we removed we removed this now we're putting it back in into the um, into the code and we're doing that for everything for except for the first uh, I believe the first one or the last the second to last one because we don't want to enter at at the very end so that's that's what this whole line does it so it doesn't put uh, it doesn't put this at the very end. Uh, of the of the, um, the for the last word, and uh, as a precaution, uh, over here we're just gonna write down write report null character, and we're gonna put down eight. Uh, like it should the the every all the keys should be re should be re released, but if they're not released for any reason. This is sort of an insurance policy to make sure that all the keys are released at the end of the script. Let's save that, and uh, oops. And I guess we can 